point that Yas made for everybody. Now, the Catholic Church has 1.2 billion members all venerating my mother Mary. Why? Mary was born in England. Her mother Anna was barren. Her husband Joachim descended from David. Anna was the third daughter of Mathan. He, a high priest of the tribe of Levi, as was Aaron, the high priest. Mathan had three daughters, Mary, Zoya, and Anna. Joachim and Anna had been married for 50 years, and Anna was barren. Joachim and Anna travelled to Jerusalem from England in a pilgrimage to offer gifts of sheep. Joachim annually gave one-third to the poor, one-third to the temple, and keeping one-third. The priests in Jerusalem openly treated him with contempt, as it was a shame not to have children jostling him away from the altar. The high priest Issachar upbraided Joachim, saying, You are not worthy to offer sacrifice with those childless hands. It was believed that pregnancy was of God's will, and all children were conceived and born by the will of God. Devastated, Joachim and Anna prayed to God to work a miracle like he had done for Abraham and Sarah and give them a child to comfort them in their old age. Joachim took his flock to a high mountain, not wanting to return to England with his offering rejected. Meanwhile, Anna prayed in her garden. But what garden? While praying in the garden, God sent the archangel Gabriel to each of them, who gave them tidings of the birth of a daughter daughter most blessed, by whom all of the nations of the earth will be blessed. Meanwhile, Anna, day by day, prayed in her garden. Joachim had spent 40 days in the wilderness fasting and praying. He returned to Anna and she told him she had conceived of the Holy Spirit. Now Joachim and Anna set the stage for the Virgin Mary. Anna had conceived by the Holy Spirit and was delighted. The flock was accepted by the priests after she began to show signs of pregnancy. Joachim and Anna returned to Cornwall to give birth to Mary, virgin conception, her baby of God, born in England, and they named her Mary. By the age of three years, Anna and Joachim had taken Mary to the temple, staying nearby in Jerusalem so they could visit Mary, being raised worshipping God. Like Anna, Gabriel appeared to Mary when she was betrothed to Joseph. She, liked her she, like her mother, conceived by the Holy Spirit. And I spent 40 days in the wilderness, just as Joachim had. Mary was left an orphan at the age of 10 years, and Joachim, who died shortly before Anna, they were buried in the Garden of Gethsemane, where, as Jesus, he often prayed with his disciples. She, Mary, was then the ward of Joseph of Arimathea. He was the merchant who had ferried the sheep offering to the priestly caste in Jerusalem. Quoting Matthew 1.18, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Mark 6.3, Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph? and of Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Why were they offended? Had they not approved of Anna being pregnant? As was Sarah, also barren at 90 years, Anna at 69 years, or Hebrew 70 years. Would it be conceivable that Anna is back on the earth today and her grandson, Simon Peter, the half-brother of Yahweh, is it not written the men of Nineveh would arise and condemn this generation? Had the synagogue completely fallen in so little time to forget Joachim and Anna? Luke 2.36, and there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asa. She was of a great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. Anna, Greek Dictionary 451, of Hebrew origin, 2584 Anna an Israelitess. First Samuel 1 5 But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. 
1 Samuel 1.20. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. 1 Samuel 2.21 And the Lord visited Hannah, so that she conceived, and bare three sons and two daughters, and the child Samuel grew before the Lord. 1 Samuel 1.22 but Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and there abide for ever. 1 Samuel 1, 5 But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And this is a repeat, but you can hear it again. 1 Samuel 1, 20, wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. Hannah of Hebrew origin 2584, we know it must be important, otherwise it would not be so difficult to find. 2584 days add to Yah's 69th Gregorian or 70th birthday, January 11, 2013, brings us to Julian day number 245, 8888, the 8th of February in the year 2020. 888 is Jesus in Greek gematria, and 888 days to Yahweh's rebirth date of January 11, 1944 is June 17, 1946, and his birthday as Jesus in 2 BC. And where did he go to honour his mother and father? He went into the garden of Gethsemane and there is the distance Gethsemane to his rebirth location 7623.7 miles. Psalm 106 47 save us O Lord our God and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Triumph 7623 that was the measure to address in a loud tone, that is loud, to pacify as if by words, commend, glory, keep in, praise, still, triumph. That's the measure from Gethsemane to his rebirth place. Matthew 26, 36, Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Mark 14, 32, and they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he saith to his disciples, Sit ye here while I shall pray. Now these words Yah saw in the Bible he was looking at when he was with Pauline, his second wife, in Port Alberni. These words in red appeared and then vanished after he and she read them several times. My son, his mother and I are well pleased with you, and a place has been reserved for you in paradise. From the beginning. Matthew 19 19, honour thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. Today Anna is back as Andrea Anna, and one can see the genetic connection to her grandson Simon Peter. Joseph Ratzinger. Simon Peter. Simon Peter is Joseph Aloysius Ratzinger. Aloysius, of course, being Yahweh's grandfather's middle name, Francis Aloysius Galadli. And of course, he immediately recognized Yah from the image he was familiar with in the Shroud of Turin. You have become familiar with how much Joseph Ratzinger, as Pope Benedict XVI, venerated the Shroud of Turin, and of course he was the one who organised the filming of it after 30 years, most recently on March the 30th, where um, the Antichrist Pope Francis made the introduction to it. What was he going to do? Yes, um, Peter, Benedict, had already recorded the public announcement of the return of the Christ 
reincarnate, known as Brian Leonard Govati Marshall, Salvatore Mundi, the image in the Shroud of Turin. He had that recorded. It was to be released along with the Shroud documentary that he organised on the 3rd of March. And it was to be released by RAI TV in Italy. And instead, Francis stopped the announcement going out and he made his pathetic um, intro to what Joseph had organised. And that's and because of that, Benedict is missing. Simon Peter is under house arrest. We're assuming he has no communication with anybody and ask us to get the message out that he is now a prisoner of the Vatican. Now, moving along. Yah had to be conceived in the same moment in time as the resurrection, which occurred April the 5th, 33 AD in Jerusalem. And the second conception, or resurrection, when his mother this time, Daphne Golightly, conceived on April the 6th, Australian time, 1943. Now this was precisely 1910 years later, conceived within the most royal mother, Daphne Golightly, April the 6th at 2.22 a.m. in 1943. Now she had no idea she was pe pregnant as Catholics. They used abstinence as a means of birth control. Yeah, I had to marry three wives before meeting Martha, which is myself, known as Ashra. And I was born 9.42 years after Michelle and I, who was Mary Magdalene. The dates are March the 19th, 1947, for Mary, Michelle, and August the 19th. Here it is, 1956. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it again. I haven't got my glasses on. No. Five, six. Can we just do that? Oh, no, we're carrying it again. All right, control, press to save that one. Again, Daphne had no idea she was pregnant. She had previously been in hospital for 13 weeks with Yah's older sister, June, who was born August the 18th in 1938. And Yah's father, you've heard him say, often referred to him as a mistake. And his mother said that he was late, assuming that she was pregnant two months prior to his actual conception. So she thought she was pregnant from February of 1943, because that's the last time she knew that they had intercourse. <laughs> now, so she assumed and uh, told Yah that his gestation was 11 months, not nine months, uh, to be born. It was to be born the 11th of the 11th in 1943, but of course he popped out <laughs> January the 11th, 1944. How did Benedict put it? That most holy day, mm -hmm. that most holy day, January the 11th, 1944. Oh. So Michelle and I, our third wife, Mary Magdalene, told Yah that she had not had intercourse with her husband at the time, who was Neil Abbott, for some months, and yet she gave birth to Rhiannon in Geelong when the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes on December the 20th, 1979. She would have conceived on March the 15th, 1979. So we have reports of immaculate conceptions from Sarah to Anna to Daphne to Michelle. Sarah to Hannah, Hannah to Anna, <laughs> to Mary, to Daphne, to Michelle. The Garvin Institute told Yah that he had three unusual chromosomes, numbers 3, 4 and 13. That number, 3, 4, 13, is Michael, the archangel in the Greek concordance. Now the name Jesus is found within 942 verses of the 1611 KJV and that's the distance in time between Mary Michelle's rebirth date, March 19th, 1947, and my rebirth date as Martha on the 19th of August, 1956. And the conception date of Yah's, sorry, Yah's grandmother was born on May the 18th in 1883, and she gave birth to twin girls on May the 18th, years later. And Yah was born 60.6 .6 years later. 606 times 4 is 2424. And that, of course, 
is Jesus, the number listing for Jesus in the Greek Concordance, James Strong, 1830s. <clears throat> so getting back to grandmother, uh, born on May the 18th, 1883, and then Yah's youngest granddaughter, Trinity Lee, was conceived on May the 18th in 2003. She was Yah's mother, Mary, the Holy Mother Mary, reborn on February the 21st, 2004. Quoting some scripture here, there were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, the less, and of Joseph and Salome. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre, among which was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's children. So the English gematria for all three verses is 3275. And the verses are Mark 1540, Matthew 28, 10, 1, sorry, and Matthew 27, 56. Add up the verse numbers and they all total 4577 from 4578. 4578 means the uterus or of men the seat of generation. The heart, figuratively, belly, bowels, heart or womb. Now, it is all about the dates that the saints are born or conceived on. The Bibles themselves number in the hundreds of translations due to copyright laws. A Bible must vary substantially, vary substantially from the original to avoid infringement of copyright. This is why each new cult has its better translation. The cost to mankind is intentional <clears throat> in the removal of the James Strong's concordance. It has 8,674 Hebrew, Aramaic or Chaldean words listed alphabetically. 8.674 years is 3,168 days. And 3168 is the Greek gematria for Lord Jesus Christ. Lord 800, Jesus 888, Christ 1480. Add them all together for a total of 3168. Now, English Gematria 3275 is the word Yakan, found in 1 Chronicles 5.13, quoting, And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael, and Meshalem, and Sheba, and Uri, and Yakan 3275, and Zia 2127, and Heba 5677. So when all seven names are added, they total 31106. Divide by 7 for an average of 4443.714. 4443 is the word God found within 3,877 verses in the 1611 KGV. 4,443 occasions. Now the distance between homes that Yah's daughters Tracy Lee and Nicole were conceived in at 4,004, sorry, 444.3 kilometres apart. Yah's eldest, Tracy Lee, is 11.626 years older than Rhiannon, who is the mother of Trinity Lee, Mary, Holy Mother, reincarnate. Now, Yah's youngest daughter is Nicole, and she is 2.127 years older than Rhiannon. Michelle Nye, Mary Magdalene, was 32.75 years old when she gave birth to Rhiannon. So we have two solitary words, Zia 2127 and Yakan 3275, found once, each of them, both of them in First Chronicles 513 and side by side. The odds of that happening is coincidentally is uh, trillions to one. Now consider gra um, Granny, <laughs> Yah's grandmother and two aunts who were born on the date that Trinity Lee was conceived, and the age difference between Yah's rebirth and, Trinity, and Trinity's birthday is the number for Mary. So 
So there it is, identifying exactly who Trinity Lee is. Distance in weeks, 3, 1, 3, 6 and 4 days. So go to the 3, 1, 3, 7. And uh, Maria or Mariam, females, Mary. So Trinity's grandmother, Michelle Knight, Mary Magdalene, was 32.75 years old when she gave birth to Trinity's mother, Rhiannon, in Geelong on December the 20th, 1979, when the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes. And that was 11.626 years after Yar's daughter was born in Port Alberni, Canada, when the sunrise to sunset was also 888 minutes. That was May the 4th, 1968. Now, Yar's age was 8,880 days old. And he... <laughs> okay. All right, so he's going backwards here. So the day she was born, he was 8,880 days old. And he was born in Sydney, of course, Australia, when the sunrise to moon was, was 888 minutes. And the same exactly for his birth date in Bethlehem on June 17th, 2 BC, his Jesus birthday. So his age at 8,880 days is the Greek gematria for Matthew 123. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. So when Tracy was conceived, Yah was 8,600 days old. And that was on July the 29th, 1967, when Jupiter was overhead for 888 minutes. And of course, Jupiter is 88,800 miles wide. Going back to consider Yah's grandmother and two aunts who were all born on May the 18th, on the date that Trinity Lee was conceived. That's my pleasure to pick. Oh, what happened? That's weird. Totally weird. Okay, so here where it says Tracy Lee was reborn, it was she was Trinity Lee was reborn. That was the date she was conceived. That's uh, I should have caught that earlier. Okay, so we're talking about May the 18th and the age difference between Yah's rebirth, January the 11th, 1944, and Trinity's rebirth, 21st of February 2004. Is the number for Mary in weeks 3137. Just going over that. So here we are moving over to the Grand Gallery through the antechamber into the King's Chamber and the coffer, all of the distances there. Are you familiar with these numbers? Here's the antechamber at 11.626 pyramid inches wide, and of course, that's the genetic key connecting his. Families, Tracy Lee, Rhea Annan, age differences uh, between Michelle, Mary Magdalene and Yahweh and then the age that Yahweh was in weeks when he married his first wife, Eileen, who gave birth to Tracy Lee to be all part of the key, unlocking the mystery of the Great Pyramid. It's all about Yahweh. It's a memorial to himself. So he had to find these keys. So when we add the three distances, and the distances are 230.05379, 286.1, and 537.0278 pyramid inches, add them all together and then multiply by a lunation of 29.053052 days, and you get 31101. And this is the Julian day that Yah, the Christ, was reborn on, 2431101. And it is also the verse total for the KJV 1611. 
So Yah says, ironically, the work of the Freemason scholars gave him the tools to lead the lost sheep back to Rome and the rock, Peter, that Yah will build his church upon. It's all about this day now. Everything was prophetic to be fulfilled in his second incarnation, this day now. Now, so talking about Peter, from the rebirth of Joseph Ratzinger to Trinity Lee, that's Mary, to her conception is 7608 from 7607, meaning female kindred by blood near kinswoman. So that was his age in year 76.08 when Tracy, Trinity Lee rather, was conceived. And of course, she is his mother, female kindred by blood, near kinswoman. In weeks 3970 from 3962 of 3860 and is received by tradition from farmers. Marvellous, marvellous genetic keys being revealed here. Now, from the rebirth of Andrea Anna, who was born on July the 1st, 1962, to Trinity's birthday, February 21st, 2004. It's 15210 days, and of course 1521 in Greek is to bring into, lead to, lead into. And in Hebrew, it's a river of paradise. So it's all about leading into the river of paradise. 1521 is the distance into the unfinished queen's chamber along the passage from the resurrection point, a shaft from the depth of hell burst through from the tomb. So let's just move this a larger. So here we go. This is the tomb, hell, tomb, and this is the resurrection point leading through the river of paradise into the queen's chamber. And here it all is this marvellous trinity in little trinity, Holy Mother Mary, whom the Catholic Church venerate. She is the one that brings it home. As does these two, Andrea Anna, Anna and Joachim, who gave birth to Simon Peter, today Joseph Ratzinger, formerly known as Benedict, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, renamed Peter the Rock by his brother, the Lord Jesus Christ. And there she is, Holy Mother Mary, back as a child this time, it's up to all of the adults to figure everything out, which they've done. Yah has done on her behalf, all for her, his love for his mother and his grandmother and brothers, the saints, all of us, bringing it home. Okay. Later, guys.